It's me, the Banlist channel, bringing you another installment of a Banlist discussion. So rather than doing the blah 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 blah, this card's annoying, this card sucks, I hate this card, uh, which I'm gonna do anyway, let's be real, if there's no Banlist by the end of the week, because I'm just gonna run out of content. I'm just gonna take 10 cards on the Banlist and see which ones can come back. For lack of a better term, it's kind of difficult to really try and figure out 10 cards that can actually be unbanned. It's like really pulling teeth once you reach about six or seven. So let's just go with the most controversial one so you can click off the video and leave a dislike. And that's going to be Maxi coming back to the game. I've done like a super long essay style video on this thing. I've went into so many details about Maxi and why Maxi should be back in the game. But let me give you a TLDR. The way that the game is currently is that it's so fast paced and it's so just broken and inherently turn one based that the only real chance you have of playing Yu-Gi-Oh! is on your turn one. The best way to combat these combo decks and stuff ideally is to just print fairer cards and to hit the problem cards and stop, you know, letting these broken insane combos run around. But that's ideal thinking. That's too idealistic for Konami standards, let's be real. Konami doesn't operate around the concept of balance and fairness. They operate around the concept of them. Um, so with that in mind, the only logical alternative to, you know, if you're not going to print fair cards, well then we should just have Maxi in the format. Maxi is a card that inherently dissuades people from playing these crazy combo decks in this kind of format and it makes slower decks something like sky striker altergeist and stuff a lot more fair and i think those decks are i guess personally in my opinion better for the game than you know hand loop for four extra link i mean if, if, if you think that's you know good Yu-Gi-Oh, then uh i actually had a joke written down here somewhere but i can't i can't find it right now so uh yeah i'll just call you a moron instead Okay, right. Well, if you haven't clicked off at this point, I don't know how you've lasted past this and why you tolerate me. So number nine, Yadagarasu. Yadagarasu is a spirit monster that when dealing damage, it skips your opponent's next draw phase. Pretty busted. And like I said, it was very difficult to find cards that can come back from the ban list because everything is so broken. The reasoning for why I think maybe this can come back is because it's extremely slow as hell. And um, something that you'll notice, and it's kind of something I noticed in one of Lithium's um, cross list Cup videos, is that it, it isn't always game if it resolves. Like, because, you know, you have, like, cards on the field and stuff, and you can use those as a resource to out uh, any further disruption that your opponent may have, or that kind of luck. But if you're able to clear your opponent's board, normal summon, and then poke for 100, and do all of this without any kind of response, you're probably going to lose anyway, right? So... I don't know, yeah. Like I said, it's kind of, it's it's um, it's pulling teeth here trying to find cards that can come back. Chaos Emperor Dragon, speaking of Yadagarasu, I think this card can come back with the new errata text and stuff. Uh, they have this habit of just completely destroying and demolishing cards after they errata them. Please just stop, errata, errata them properly or just don't errata them. Like, Zangat didn't need an errata. Uh, Sinister Serpent probably didn't need an errata, etc, etc. So, you know, this one, like, just isn't anywhere near as good as it was before. I mean, it could be good in Thunder Dragons or something, and that's about it. Like, Chaos Emperor Dragon is a shadow of its form itself. It's fine to come back. Time Seal. I can't even remember what this thought was. Skip your opponent's next draw phase. Trap card. Like, okay. Um, it's way too slow. Like, that, it's just, just too slow. Like, skip your opponent's draw phase as a trap card. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> like, you're trying to actually link your opponent and not let them play the game. That's what we're trying to do. Not set a trap card that says draw one less card to your starting five. Like, you're still gonna die, probably, right? So, there you go. I think that time seal is way too slow. Heavy Storm. I used to, like, be super, super against this because the idea was, like, you usually win on the turn you activate it, right? Because you just clear all the background and stuff like that. But, like, in a world of, you know, hand traps where that's really the only response people have nowadays rather than actual, real, genuine back row, um... I think Heavy Storm could be okay, maybe. I don't really want to see like back row decks crippled per se, because I think it's the combo decks that need the dressing more so than the control decks. But then again, um, memes. Tribe Infecting Virus. Have you guys read this card? No, seriously, have you read this card? It, it doesn't need to be banned. Just unban Tribe. Sure it. You guys missed Necros. I know I don't, but for someone who's experienced way too much love and obsession for this deck, I think, I'm sure, it could probably come back to one, and Necros, are they going to be good? Well, they may be semi-competent, I think, they could potentially do well at regionals and stuff, but at the premier event level, I really don't think the deck quite has enough, although, to be fair, it's quite interesting to think that 
Summon Necros of Unicorn outs the full extra link board. Huh. Well, I wouldn't say it outs it, but you know, if you activate Kaleidoscope, your opponent's kind of sitting there with seven monsters and a trigate just kind of like, ooh, that's actually kind of tricky. Mm, do I negate that? So I guess sure it could come back. And speaking of the fan favorite modern age Yu-Gi-Oh decks, Construct can probably go back to one. I'm pretty sure in the OCG, like they literally have like full power at all. Like, full power should all, and the, the deck just doesn't do anything. I think they have, like, one, like, Midrash or something. Winda. Midrash? I haven't said that word in, like, four years. <laughs> Shadals, like, did nothing in the OCG. Chances are they probably won't do much here. Maybe they'll be cool as, like, a little engine or something. Now, Construct, obviously, with Shadal Fusion is amazing, because sending a light monster, probably one of the best attributes that you can send to the graveyard. But still, regardless, I think the, the card could probably come back. See it at one, test the waters. You know, kind of, kind of just... See if it's fine. Like Snatch Deal, you know, if you're willing to try all the cards for like one format, you know, why not? Like, just try all some cards. Double Iris Magician. I think that with Pendulum just being like, just so inherently like, just weak in general, with the inability to play hand traps and defensive cards, I think that something like Double Iris that searches like, you know, a pop isn't like insane, or you know, the idea that it can send, uh, or search rather the, uh, the, uh, the Pendulum graph thing, the Rota once per turn, it's not like, insanely broken i think what made it crazy was you know the, the the fact that electromite was at three and you could pop it multiple times and you could do like really silly otks with its scale effect it's a really really powerful card but pendulum is in a very 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 abysmal state right now and there just isn't anything new coming for pendulum like for, for like just link brains two packs all of those new cards that we've seen there's nothing there for pendulum basically so I think that giving Pendulum's kind of boost would be nice again because like we're, we're literally not going to see like Pendulum be relevant because like there's no support on the horizon like for as, lo as far as the eye can go there is no Pendulum support and it's a deck that I'm uh, pretty fond of and I do quite enjoy just kind of really in a bit sad of a sa state right now so you know I think one double iris is probably going to be fine and so for the final card on the ban list that should return number 10 Ladies and gentlemen, unlock the shock 2018. Konami have heard your voices. They understand how we feel about the format. They know what we think about the combo decks. Everyone, say it with me. Unlock the shock. Unchain the chain. Uh, maybe that will leave that to 2020. For this campaign, however, unlock the shock. I want to see that everywhere. Hashtag unlock the shock. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure you check out my Twitch where you can watch me every single night of the week at Farfa YGO. Join the Discord community at discord.gg forward slash Farfa YGOcity.com. Use the promo code Farfa5 if you want to buy cards IRL with 5% off and that sweet discount free shipping over 25 in the UK and internationally um, X amount or something. Yes, uh, that's, uh, that's about it for me, guys. Appreciate all the love and support. Take care. Until next time, Master Peace. I thought I would do a quick little update thing here just because, uh, well, we didn't manage to reach the 10-minute mark on that one, boys. And I literally can't eat if the videos don't hit 10 minutes. I'm sorry. You know how YouTube works. But anyway, uh, Table 500, let's talk about that real quick. Now, you're probably wondering where that's been, what's going on with that, and what's happening. Uh, I haven't like quit the TCG and stuff like I've you know clarified before, and um, it's basically an issue that it's it's sort of the format currently, right? Now Table Five Hundred is always dedicated to rogue decks. It's always dedicated to decks that are underplayed or just never played, and that's like the ethos and philosophy behind Table Five Hundred. Now the problem is, is like when you're in a format like this where like rogue just has no chance, it's hard to get any kind of good Table Five Hundreds because. Like they can't do anything like compared to these decks, but when they can do those things, they become the same. They all become identical. Now, while the title might be like fabled alien, Gemini, Dragoonity, whatever it might be, they always end up tr like trending towards the same combos in a way. So there was a period in time, for example, where um, the decks were all just had Grinder Golem in them, right? And that was really boring to watch. And I feel like that's kind of what's happening with Table 500. It's really boring to watch like the like the 5 millionth firewall combo, even though it's in a different deck and stuff, like all the Table 500s just look the same now because like they all tend towards firewall, summon sort, needle fiber combos, right? And it, that's not really fun. And I don't think that's really enjoyable. And it kind of loses its charm after all. 
So I'm hoping like with the new format coming and stuff, you know, please do send in your table 500s after the new format. But currently the way it is now, the t like they're not, they're just not fun to watch because of the state of the game at the moment. And um, I'm not trying to like, you know, m poke even more negative stuff at Yu-Gi-Oh! But I'm just saying that th it doesn't make for like fun table 500s with where we're at right now. So like I said, hopefully a new format will spice things up. Make sure you send things in for then. But yeah, just a quick update. Thanks for watching and stuff. Take care. Subscribe.